Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at the CDC's website, Community Water Fluoridation, the cost of saving community water fluoridation. Does it help the economy? Is it good for the economy? Community water fluoridation is recognized as one of the most cost-effective, equitable, and safe measure communities that can take to prevent cavities and improve oral health. That's why it was named one of the 10 great public health achievements of the 20th century. Now, various methods may be utilized for determining costs and benefits of community water fluoridation, and newer studies have been able to make use of actual costs from water systems rather than relying primarily on expert estimates. The fact that multiple studies using different methods reach the same conclusion reach confidence in the general finding that the community water fluoridation can be cost-saving for communities. So what is the economic impact? Economic evaluations reaffirm the cost benefits of community water fluoridation and studies continue to show that widespread community water fluoridation prevents cavities and saves money both for families and the healthcare system. And one economic review of multiple studies found that savings for communities range from $1.10 to $135 for $1 invested per capita. The annual cost of community water fluoridation ranged from $0.11 cents to $24.38, while per capita annual benefits ranged from $5.49 to $93.19. In a recent 2016 economic analysis for communities of 1,000 or more people, the savings associated with water fluoridation exceeded estimated program costs, with an annual average savings of $20 per invested. Additionally, individuals in the community that fluoridated water save an average of 32% Per $32 per person by avoiding treatment for dental caries. Nationwide, the same study found community water fluoridation programs have been estimated to provide nearly $6.5 billion a year in net cost savings by averting direct dental treatment costs, tooth restorations and extractions, and indirect costs, loss of productivity, and follow-up treatment. In a 2016 study, costs and savings associated with community water fluoridation in the United States use documented program to cost to determine the cost of installing and maintaining necessary equipment and operating water plants, the expected effectiveness of fluoridation estimates of expected cavities in non-fluoridated communities, direct and indirect costs of treating cavities, and time lost visiting the dentist for the initial and follow-up treatment over a lifetime to maintain a treated tooth. Consistent with prior analysis, the study supports finding the community water fluoridation remains one of the most cost-effective methods of delivering fluoride to all community members, regardless of age, educational attainment, or income level. So what this, in summary, brings down is due to the case contributes to reduce quality of life and increased need for constantly restorative dental care. People who consume fluoridated water experience fewer or less severe cavities, resulting in the reduced need for fillings, removing or replacing teeth, and less time taken off from school or work because of dental problems or pain. Water fluoridation benefits all members of the community by providing tooth decay, improving oral health, and saving money for everyone. So based on that, this is what the CDC found were the cost of facing savings on the economy. That being said, it's always a good idea, even though this is cost saving, to take a look at how much fluoride is in your water, and the only way to do that is to test it.